A sea of people in Iran, from the city of Ahvaz in the southwest to Mashhad in the northeast, millions gathering for the funeral procession of General Qasem Soleimani. But while Iranians mourned one of the country's most popular figures, diplomatic tensions between Tehran and Washington showed no signs of subsiding. At a parliament session in the Iranian capital, MPs chanted death to America for several minutes. Iran's army has also promised strong retaliation, saying the U.S. would be forced to leave the region. God willing, we'll deal irreparable blows to the world's arrogance in such a way that the U.S. will be forced to disgracefully leave the region and regret what it has done. Donald Trump, meanwhile, warned that the United States had selected 52 Iranian targets, including cultural sites, should the country decide to retaliate and attack U.S. interests. We have targeted 52 Iranian sites, some at very high level and important to Iran and the Iranian culture. And those targets, and Iran itself, will be hit very fast and very hard. Iran's Foreign Minister Javad Zarif also took to Twitter a little later, reminding the U.S. president that deliberately targeting cultural sites was a war crime and a violation of international law. In a bid to defuse the situation, the European Union has invited Zarif to travel to Brussels. The bloc is hoping to keep alive Iran's nuclear deal and, more globally, peace in the region. Top Iranian officials said on Sunday they were not opposed to continuing talks with the deal's other signatories, but only after they had, quote, possibly settled scores with the United States.